Freshwater Fishery Society of BC. Go Fish BC on Shaw TV with your host, Brian Chan, from the Freshwater Fishery Society of BC. Go Fish BC is brought to you in part by Freshwater Fishery Society of BC, River City Marine, and Surplus Herbies. Hey, Steve. First fish of the day. Good one, Bri. As usual, you caught it. <laughs> Today we're in Garden Lake, near Enderby, just uh, close to Salmon Arm, yep. BC. I'm with Steve Miracle, the Regional Small Lakes Fisheries Biologist for the Ministry of Environment out of Kamloops. And we're here to tell you an interesting story about Garden Lake and the new fishery that's been developed as a result of work done by the Ministry of Environment. And I'll let Steve talk about it, but first we'll let this beautiful rainbow trout go. Steve, we just had a double header. Uh, why don't you tell us about the rebirth of this incredible fishery that's happening on Gardam Lake? So Gardam Lake is, is one of nine lakes that uh, some individuals have put uh, mainly perch, but also in this lake, smallmouth bass, and in other lakes, uh, sunfish, uh, pumpkin seed. And uh, these fish certainly are great sports fish, but they certainly threaten the, uh, the entire area. Uh, particularly if they get into the shoe swap. It was so bad on this lake that the, uh, the bird life had diminished by over 50%. Frogs and amphibians, uh, salamanders were gone. And uh, the lake just really wasn't very healthy. You couldn't find an insect flying actually. So we took it on the Ministry of Environment with funding through the Habitat Conservation Trust Foundation. Uh, took on a, about a million and a half dollar project over five years to treat these lakes. We treated Gardam last year with, uh, with a rope known product in, in October, early October. And, uh, and then this, uh, this year we stocked it in the spring with these, uh, these catchable rainbows, these Fraser Valley rainbows. Insect life has come back, as you can see oh, here, amazingly. Bug, bugs flying everywhere. With, within Maze, six months. Of dragons. And, uh, and the fish are growing. These fish are quite a bit bigger than they were stocked at, actually. They're just amazing to see. And they love to bite. Uh, these fish will be two pounds by the fall. By next year, they'll be three, four pounds. Perfect. So amazing fishery and, uh, you know, all because we, we got rid of the fish that, that were really a problem and would be a huge problem if they got into the main Thompson drainage. Yeah and uh, we've, we've kind of revitalized this fishery. So it, the Garden Lake historically was a very good fishery. Introduction of these non-game uh, spiny rayed fish, yeah. and it's just destroyed the fishery. Absolutely. And here we've got another fish on here. Yeah. That's uh, proof of the pudding, and uh, we're here in July. You can imagine how much bigger, as you said, oh, in, yeah. by October, these fish are going to be another... It'll be a pound and a half to two pounds. Yeah, I mean, yeah. They're, they're nice fish now. They're and beautiful fish now. It's midweek and we've got half a dozen at least boats on the lake and the fishery really just opened uh, oh, yeah. not that long ago. So On the four other lakes that we put these same catchables into, we have had nothing but compliments and, and uh, good news as far as yeah. the, the, the fisheries that we have generated as a result. Salmon and trout are you know, near and dear to everyone in BC, whether you fish or not, they're kind of our, our icon. And uh, those fish, those spiny ray fish, really did threaten those stocks. And uh, we, we just couldn't stand by and watch that. No, absolutely. Great job. Thank you. Go Fish BC on Shaw TV has been brought to you in part by Freshwater Fishery Society of BC, River City Marine, and Surplus Herbies.